Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I am going to explain you one very interesting example based on Booth's algorithm. I have already explained one example based on Booth's algorithm in my playlist of Computer Architecture and Organization. But I am also making this video to ensure you should be having correct understanding regarding how multiplication is happening using Booth's algorithm. The reason is when I explain this topic in my college, at that time I have seen students are having some issues when they resolve examples. So I thought at least I should be explaining you two examples that will give you more clarity, right? So you should see this video till last and based on this, you can be able to make flowchart and circuit of Booth's algorithm. So let us have this example step by step. So you see Booth's algorithm that we have it to have multiplication of two numbers, right? So we are dealing with to multiply four and six over here. So See, this 4 and 6 that I need to represent first in binary form. So, this 4 is multiplier and 6 is multiplicant. So, here this 4 that is multiplier, right? So, let me write that as plus 4 first. See, here with respect to sign, I need to represent the data. Remember this. So, plus 4 that is as per C0 that is a sign of plus and then 4 that is a value. So, 1, 0, 0. That is how I need to represent plus 4. Now, multiplicand that is plus 6, right? So, let me represent this plus 6 that is multiplicand. So, plus that is 0 and 6 means 1, 1, 0. Now, my dear students, this multiplicand that we need to have as per plus and minus. Why? The reason is in steps, we need to perform add multiplicand and subtract multiplicand, right? So, add multiplicand that is what? Add plus 6. But subtract multiplicand means what? Add minus 6. So here I need to have negative of multiplicand as well. So this plus 6, now I need to have minus 6 as well. So how to have negative data? In computer, negative data that you can have based on 2's complement, right? So here I'll be doing 2's complement of plus 6. So here you'll have to see the data from this direction and you'll have to copy the data till you have first one. So you see, if I go from this direction, here I'm having first one. So I'm just copying this data as it is 0 and 1. And after first one, whatever data is there that I need to complement. So this 1 will become 0 and this 0 will become 1. So this is minus 6, right? So this is how multiplier and multiplicand that we have. Now, once you have this, you need to make a table. And in table, first you need to mention operation. Second, you need to mention accumulator. Third, you need to mention multiplier. Multiplier is Q and then next Q minus 1 that I need to have and then multiplicand M that I need to mention. Now, first of all, what should be my initial value? So, accumulator that should be initially 0. Accumulator that should be 0 initially. So, here how many bits are there? You see 4 bits are there with multiplier and multiplicand. So, I am writing 4 times 0 in accumulator. Right. Now, what is multiplier? Multiplier is this plus 4. So, I am just noting this data that is 0, 1, 0, 0. Right. And initial value of Q minus 1 that should be 0. Now, in multiplicand, I will be mentioning multiplicand M. Now, you see multiplicand is plus 6. So, M is plus 6 and plus 6 is how much? 0, 1, 1, 0. And let me note down minus M as well. So, minus m is minus 6 that is 1 0 1 0 right that is what I need to note down first. Now, I need to repeat the steps how many times I need to repeat the steps as per number of bits. So, here if you see multiplier and multiplicand both are having how many bits 4 bits. So, I need to repeat the steps 4 times. Now, what is that step? So, that step is there based on the value of q 0 and q minus 1. Remember, this tab is there based on value of q 0, q minus 1. Let me note down that q 0, q minus 1. Here it is 0, 0. Here it is 0, 0, right? First time I am performing this tab. Let me mention that over here. Now remember this. As if q 0 and q minus 1, if it is 0, 0 or 1, 1, you do not need to perform addition or subtraction. Remember this, if it is 0, 0 or 1, 1, don't do anything. 
लाइक एडिशन और सब्ट्रैक्शन बट एज इफ क्यू जीरो क्यू माइनस वन इफ इट इज वन जीरो देन यूल हैव टू परफॉर्म सब्ट्रैक्ट एम इफ इट इज जीरो वन देन यूल हैव टू परफॉर्म एड एम राइट आई शो यू इन स्टेप्स it will get very clear to you once you see this video till last right so here it is 0 0 so i don't need to perform any arithmetic operation but right shift that is compulsory right so right shift that i'll be doing every time after arithmetic operation as q0 q minus 1 that is 0 0 i don't need to perform add or subtract right so now you see what i'll be doing is i'll be copying this data as it is 0 0 0 0 and this data that is 0 1 0 0 but i need to perform right shift so how to do right shift you see first you just need to take first bit as it is then shift this data by one bit towards right side right so this zero this zero this zero this zero this zero will come here this one will come here this zero will come here and this zero will come here that is how we need to perform this steps right now How many times we need to repeat these steps? Four times. So now let us have this step second time. So in second time, I need to see this Q zero and Q minus one. Let me note down that Q zero Q minus one. That is zero zero. If it is zero zero, I don't need to perform any arithmetic operation. Only right shift that I need to do. Right. So let me copy this data as it is. So zero 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 one zero. Right. now right shift that i need to do so this zero that will be as it is now all this data that i need to shift by one bit towards right side so you see this zero this zero this zero this zero will come here right this one will come here and this zero that will come here so this is how i have repeated this step second time now third time i need to perform this step so i need to see what is the data over here with q zero and q minus 1 let me note down that q zero q minus 1 That is one zero. As if it is one zero, as if it is one zero. What you need to do? You need to subtract m. Let me note down that subtract m that I need to do. Right after subtract m, what you need to do? Right shift. After subtract m, what you need to do? Right shift operation. So this is what my third step. Now where we need to subtract m? So let me show you that. See first of all, what is m so m is this so minus m is this so subtract m means what you will have to add minus m so minus m is 1 0 1 so you will have to add 1 0 1 0 with accumulator remember this you will have to add 1 0 1 0 with accumulator add minus m means subtract m right so let us add this so 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 1 1 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 1 1 that is how i have done subtract m operation now what i need to do right shift means i need to shift this bits by one bit towards right side right how you see i'm just copying first bit as it is then i need to write this one over here then i need to shift all these bits by one bit towards right side right so this one will come here this zero will come here this one will come here this zero will come here now i need to copy this data over here as well 0 0 0 1 now just Uh, shift this data towards right side right and this one will come here now this is what we have completed with third step how many steps that we need to have over here four steps right so fourth time i need to repeat this step so first of all what i'll be doing is i'll be noting this q0 q1 q1 minus 1 so that is 0 1 and as it is 0 1 what i need to do i need to add m right if it is 1 0 i need to subtract m if it is 0 1 i need to add m right and then i need to perform right shift operation and that is my fourth step so after fourth step i don't need to repeat these steps right why the reason is we are multiplying two four bits numbers so add m that i need to do so what is m m is 0 1 1 0 you see right so 0 1 1 0 that i need to add 1 plus 0 1 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 1 0 carry 1 1 plus 1 0 carry 1 but see msb is carry that we need to neglect carry of msb that we need to neglect right now this 
digits that I need to shift towards the right side. But before that, let me copy this over here as well. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So when you want to shift this right, first you will have to copy this 0 as it is. Then you will have to shift all this data towards the right side. So you see this 0 and this 0 that will come here. Then this 1, this 1 will come here. And these are zeros, right? So now we have completed all four steps, right? And that is what you need to repeat as per how many bits that we are multiplying over here. Now, my dear students, my answer is this, right? That is accumulator and Q. So once you complete the steps, your answer will be this. So let me write that answer is triple zero, then double one, then triple zero. Now, how to identify whether my answer is correct or not? So first of all, you'll have to see first bit. So that is zero means sign is positive. So I need to write positive sign over here. Now, how to identify value? So for value identification, let me write this. See one, then two, then four, then eight, then 16. And then zeros are there. So I'm not watching other data over here. So my answer is what? You see 16 plus eight, 24, right? So let me note down that 24. So plus 24, that is my multiplication, right? If you see, what is that which we have been multiplying? 4 into 6, 24. So as per both algorithm, you see, we got our answer, that is 24. So this is how we should be repeating steps. Now I think after solving two problems, now my next video that will be based on how exactly flowchart and circuit is there with Boots algorithm. I hope it is clear to you still have anything that you would like to share it with me. Note down in comment box, I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.